Welcome to the Masterclass on Pydentic AI, a new framework for building AI agents. In this Masterclass, we're learning about the core features of Pydentic AI and how we can build effective agents using simple Python code. We aim to hit all key features of the framework with plenty of examples, so by the end of this, you have the confidence and knowledge to build your own agents. Today, we're taking a detailed look at the result validator functions. As the name implies, result validators are run after a model call and offer an additional level of validation before proceeding with the rest of the app flow. Validator functions are so incredibly important when building agents because they can validate the model outputs and give the application a chance to retry or recover gracefully. If validation passes, users are presented with fully compliant data that can be used for anything else downstream. If you haven't watched earlier modules, now might be a good time to pause and take a look at the first set of videos. It may add context to what's covered in this tutorial. The links to all videos will be in the video description. Today, we'll work on six examples, starting with a simple hello world, then moving to basic validation with context. Next, we're going to validate output that returns a type results. In the fourth example, we'll use multiple validators to demonstrate how to harden LLM calls. The last two examples are super exciting. If you've seen any of my earlier tutorials, we tend to generate plenty of source code. In these two examples, we're going to ask the LLM to generate SQL and Python code and then validate them before returning them to the user. Super cool. By the end of these exercises, you will have enough practice to write your own validator functions. And of course, that will make your agentic flows much more reliable. Enough talk, let's get started. This is our hello world example, and let's kick it off with a simple flow of result validation. We're going to start by importing our classes. We're going to use agent and model retry from Pydentic AI. You're going to see how we use model retry later on. We're going to rely on the OpenAI GPT 4.0 model for this, and we're going to define that our agent should retry only once in the agent definition. In the agent result validator, this is how we're defining the result validator with the directive at agent.result underscore validator. It's a plain Python function, which then takes as an input the data produced by the LLM, and then we can do anything we want inside the function. So in this case, we're going to see if the wrong keyword is included in the results. And if that's the case, we're just going to throw a model retry exception. So this is a simple way to assess whether the outputs fit a certain criteria. Based on the answer that the model provides, then we can raise an exception. We're going to ask the question, the world is flat, right or wrong, respond with a single word. And now we're going to run our script. And once the script executes, it will return a single word. So let's take a look at that and the word itself will be wrong. And based on that, we will raise this exception. Now, in future examples, we'll see how we can catch exceptions and do processing afterwards, perhaps a second model call or anything else. But in this case, we're just going to throw the exception and say that the validation failed because the answer was wrong. So now let's go ahead and change our code real quick and make it instead of flat let's see what our planet is round and run the example one more time we're going to clear the outputs and run the script one more time and see what we get this time okay so we get the right keyword this time and naturally there's no exception thrown all right, just to summarize, this is a very simple hello world example. We ask the LLM a question based on the outcome of the LLM, which is textual, by the way. We're not yet using any structured output, so we just get a text and we're looking inside that text. And if we see a certain keyword, such as right or wrong or a certain number, then based on that, we can act in this result validator. So if it's wrong, we're going to throw an exception. If it's right, do nothing. Post LLM validation can greatly enhance the reliability of agents and improve the user experience in significant ways. Pydentic AI offers validator functions, transforming sometimes unreliable LLM outputs into verified Python code. Next time, we'll look into how to use Pydentic AI's dependency injection system 
to provide data and services to agent system prompts, tools, and result validators. It makes agents much more understandable, easier to test, and deploy in production. But for today, this is a wrap. If you've come this far, you can call your best friend and brag about it. After all, you've earned it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned how to make your agents more reliable. If you get value from this, please consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. If you have any feedback, please submit a comment. Thank you and see you in the next one.